This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. I'm 35 years old, I'm an independent filmmaker, and I'm about to have my first child. And all my friends keep telling me, you'll change. You'll change. You'll have less time for yourself because you're a family now. And the nurse hands you the, the baby and you're walking to your car. That's when it's going to hit you. That's when the responsibility is going to hit you. You're going to be driving home, looking at every cross street, hoping nobody runs into you. Preface. I am the poster boy for bad decision making in the independent film world. I've made eight short films, three features, and a couple of documentaries, along with a ton of corporate videos and commercials. I've whored myself on other people's movies for the last 30 plus years. There are certain truths I have learned and certain things and people I shouldn't have listened to. I've messed up my life financially, emotionally, and probably physically, and it's all been for my love of movies. My movies. A lot of people ask me why I'm angry. I am the angry filmmaker, after all. What makes me angry is the state of independent films. The independent film industry is no longer even remotely independent. It's been mainstreamed by Hollywood and is now simply another overhyped product. Like commercial radio, pop music, and Starbucks coffee, the industry is a homogenized mess of conglomerates owned by a handful of extremely powerful corporations. It begs the question, independent from what? We need to take the word independent back. Indie has become a marketing phrase. I have a tough time sitting through a $10 million indie movie. I want people to recognize that indie doesn't mean stars and all that other crap. We are independent filmmakers, and we make movies, whether we have a deal or not. I want to see more theaters and media art centers providing places for us to show our work, instead of just giving us lip service about how they support independent film. I am fed up with these independent film festivals that show all these movies with big names in them. I think Sundance and any other film festival that calls themselves independent shouldn't take films with budgets of more than $100,000. That ought to weed out the phonies. For me, filmmaking is all about the work, all about the film. If making a movie is just one of those things you think would be cool to do, then don't. There are already enough posers and bad movies out there we don't need any more. But if you're like me, if making your film is the most important thing, then keep moving forward. Making a film is a lot harder than you think. If making a film was easy, there'd be a lot more films out there. But making a film is hard. Making a good film is even harder. I make my films because I have to. I have stories I have to tell, and I won't be satisfied until my film is done and out. I love movies. I always have. When I was a kid, I used to watch just about anything. In fact, one of my guilty pleasures is still running across Dirty Dancing on cable late at night. I've probably seen it 50 times. I've always wanted to meet Jennifer Grey, even though I understand that she was just playing a role and she's had surgery on her nose and all of that stuff. She was fantastic and really hot in that movie. She means more to me than Carrie Fisher with a bagel strapped on her head in Star Wars. Jennifer, are you out there? When I first went to USC's film school, I wanted to make movies like the ones that I grew up watching. I still remember going to the theater and seeing movies like Grand Prix, Easy Rider, any Clint Eastwood Western, Bullet, and How the West Was Won. My first day in film school, the instructors went around the room asking us what kind of films we wanted to make. I was a poor kid from Oregon who was feeling like I didn't belong there. Everyone in my class talked about all of these great art films and foreign filmmakers and how they wanted to make all these personal statements. They were all artistes and scaring the hell out of me. When it was my turn, I said I wanted to make movies to entertain. I had no great mission, no great statement. The instructors totally wrote me off as someone with nothing to say, and my films were not taken seriously. Then it happened. <laughs>